Hello there, fellow model makers, and welcome to the second and last part of our Tamiya 172nd scale Focke Wolf 190D9 build. This is where we left off our build last time. The kit has been put together and is almost ready for painting. The kit went together splendidly, but there are a few minor gaps that need to be filled with putty. I will be using Liquitex modeling paste to fill these tiny gaps. I simply take an applicator and push the putty into the gap. The area is then cleaned up with a Q-tip moistened with water. This helps me clean up the joint without having to sand or polish it. But this technique only works when the gap is relatively small, like on this occasion. A larger gap or a more uneven joint will require sanding and polishing and possibly rescribing of panel lines. Now to mask the kit for painting, I start by masking off the cockpit with some masking tape. Next, I use some blue tack to mask the engine and the wheel wells, which I have already painted. I push in some blue tack and then shape it with a cocktail stick. The last step before painting is to give the entire kit a good cleanup with a cloth moistened with alcohol. I appreciate the aircraft by airbrushing black paint along the panel lines. The underside of this plane is painted with Tamiya Flat Red XF7. I spray on light misty coats of paint and try to ensure that the pre-shading shows through. I don't want a lot of pre-shading showing through, just a hint.
The next paint to be sprayed is the light blue grey on the sides. I use AK Interactive's RLM76 for this. This time I first paint inside the panels and then even out the paint with a misty coat to blend everything together. These are the two colors that I have chosen to do the camo pattern with. The darker areas with Vallejo field green and the lighter pattern with pale green. I know these are not the recommended colors but I wanted to see how these colors come out once they are painted and weathered over. Just a little side experiment. I start with the lighter of the two shades. Here you can see me masterfully painting the wing. And here you can see me realizing that I am painting the wrong part of the wing. And here I can be seen painting the entire wing pale green to cover up for the mistake. Luckily, Aircraft have two wings and I did much better on the second one. Now to paint on the field green. It was not that the color scheme was looking particularly bad, but I just did not like the pale green. So I decided to repaint the pale green areas with this mid chrome interior paint.
मच बेटर The kit was given a couple of coats of clean varnish. In my case, I used Future or Pledge Flow polish. And it's now time for the decals. As I had pointed out earlier, the white stripes have been grouped together in sets of 4 or 5 stripes per decal. And since I don't want all that carrier film on the kit, I cut away individual stripes using my hobby knife. It takes a little longer, but I think it looks much better. The white stripes were a little longer than required. So once they were dry, I took my hobby knife and trimmed the extra decal. I used microset and microsol to fix and soften the decals. Once the decals had conformed to my satisfaction, I gave the kit a couple of layers of clean varnish once again. While the clear varnish was drying, I cut and cleaned and painted all the remaining parts of the kit, like the landing gear and the propeller assembly. I made an oil wash by mixing some black oil paint in some turpentine. This wash was then applied liberally all over the kit. I gave the wash about 45 minutes to dry and then wiped it away using a paper towel. Once the oil was dry, I gave the kit a coat of matte varnish.
the wheels and the propeller were now glued in place. One of the reasons I give the kit a matte coat is because it's easier for the weathering pastels to stick to the surface. I use some black pastel and a blunted brush to add some smoke streaks around the exhausts and the guns. Lastly, I use some brown oil paint to add some oil streaks and some rendering. I paint on the oil streak and then blend it using a flat brush. Some features on the kit, like the joint between the wing and the fuselage, are ideal for some oil rendering. I just apply some brown paint here and blend it in with a soft brush. And here it is friends, my quick build, Tamiya 172nd scale Focke Wolf 190D9. I hope you enjoyed the build and found something useful. Please do like and subscribe. Till next time, good luck and have a great time with your modeling projects.